Hey, church family. Have you ever used the phrase, you got this? It's an encouragement that we'll sometimes give to one another to let them know that whatever the challenge is, they can handle it. They've got it under control. And as much as I appreciate it, whenever we seek to encourage one another, and I'm all for encouragement, the truth is, the last time I checked, the only one who's really got this is God. In John 18, we read a story that from a human vantage point looks to be totally out of control. The place was the Garden of Gethsemane. The death of Jesus was rapidly approaching. It was nighttime, and Jesus had gone to this garden with his disciples to pray. And then suddenly one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, arrives with a detachment of troops and officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They arrived with lanterns and torches and weapons, and they'd come to arrest Jesus. Can you imagine how intimidating that would have been for the disciples? But Jesus didn't cower or hide. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom are you seeking? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to him, I am he. And upon hearing that, they drew back and fell to the ground. It's pretty clear that Jesus was the one calling the shots at this point. But one of his disciples, Peter, didn't think so, because he pulled his sword out and took a swing at the high priest's servant. And in the process, Peter cut off his ear. Now, we're not told this specifically, but my guess is that when that happened, Peter didn't say, hey, got your ear. My guess is Peter was trying to take the guy's head off, but the guy ducked and all Peter got was his ear. Anyhow, Jesus told Peter to put away his sword, and Jesus graciously restored that servant's ear. Which, by the way, if you're ever involved in a Bible trivia challenge, the restoration of that servant's ear is often referred to as Jesus' last recorded miracle before going to the cross. But be that as it may, Jesus told Peter, put your sword into the sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? What cup was he talking about? He was talking about his coming death on the cross. In other words, this arrest was all part of God's predetermined plan that Jesus would willingly offer himself as a sacrifice on the cross for our sins and then rise from the dead. In this life, you and I are going to drink some cups we're not too happy about. We're going to find ourselves in some gardens that aren't peaceful. It's very possible that at times we'll feel crushed by circumstances. And when it seems like things are spinning out of control, you might be tempted to take out your sword and pull a Peter. But Jesus says, Peter, put your sword away. I've got this. When it seems like things are spinning out of control, remember, God is with us. He's an ever-present help in times of trouble. He'll never leave you or forsake you. And he holds your life and everything else in his hands. The truth is, you don't got this, I don't got this, but he's got this. And for that, we should all be extremely thankful.